Hello guys, KD here. So in today's video, I'm going to do a full review of this 12 volt 2 amp switch mode power supply from China. So let's start the video. So this is the overall view of this SMPS. The input comes in from here. This is the live, neutral and the earth. And this is the ground or the negative output. And this is the positive output and here we have a 1 kilo ohm variable resistor for changing the output voltage and here is the output indication LED so now let's check the dimension of this SMPS so the length is about 8.2 cm the breadth is 5.7 cm and its height is around 3.3 cm ok so now let's check if it can supply 2 amps of current or not so first let's check the minimum and maximum output voltage so the minimum voltage is around 11.5 volts and the maximum voltage is around 13.16 volts so now let's put a 2 amp load in it so I have connected my variable electronic load with it the link of this video is in the description so now let's turn it on the output voltage is 12 volts and the output current is 0.27 amps so now let's increase it to 2 amps so as you can see the output voltage is 11.94 volts and the output current is 2 amps uh, everything looks good so now let's keep it running for a while so even after 5 minutes there is no output voltage drop and the power supply is also in good condition So now let's see the internals of it. So this is the power supply. As you can see, the input comes in from here and there is no input filter capacitor or EMI filter. There is just a bridge rectifier and a 22 microfarad 400 volt filtering capacitor. And there is no switching transistor because it is inbuilt in this IC and at the output we have two filtering capacitors rated for 1000 UF and 16 volts and the another one is probably the same and here is the TL431 voltage reference used for adjusting the output voltage and here are some feed, uh, voltage divider resistors and one resistor for the output LED and this is the filter capacitor small one and this is the output short key diode and here is the PC817 optocoupler this is the PCB as you can see the quality of the PCB is very nice and the name of this IC is CSC7224 
and this is this number network this resistor capacitor and this diode and this is a class y1 capacitor from the high voltage ground to the low voltage ground and there is no auxiliary supply in this SMPS as you can see there is just input of the primary these two and at the output this screw terminals are also very nice and this is a visible resistor so now let's see the data sheet of this IC so this is the data sheet of this IC as you can see CSC 7224 and its features it requires very lo low external components as you can see there is just a snubber network and two capacitors at the input nothing else and it also has a built in 700 volt BJT and it does not require a auxiliary winding as we have seen and the output power is just 18 watts and it also has built in over voltage protection over current protection and over temperature protection and it also has frequency settling for EMI so this is the pin configuration it's pin number 1 and 2 are the ground pin number 3 is the output feedback and pin number 4 is the power supply and it's pin number 5, 6, 7, 8 is the collector of this of internal power BJT so this is the internal circuit diagram of the IC and these are all the parameters related to this IC like its working frequency or VCC charging current etc and this is the circuit diagram and I have also given a circuit diagram of this power supply in my video description so as we have seen that this IC CSC 7224 is only rated for 18 watts but they are selling it with the branding of 12 volt 2 amp 24 watts so this is just China things so now let's open this transformer and see the quality of it so now let's remove this transformer so here's the transformer and the size of this transformer is 25 mm it means it's a EE25 right code transformer so now let's open it for opening the transformer you can boil it in water or just put this soldering iron on top of it for 3 to 4 minutes so after 5 minutes you can very easily open the course like this so it has 3 layers of insulation of this heat resistant tape so this is the I think half of the primary so now let's unwind it thirty two turns on the top so again it has three layers of insulation so now let's remove the primary
12 tons and it has two wires in parallel so this is the rest of the primary so let's unwind it so it has fifty five and fifty six tons so now let's see if they are made up of copper or aluminium so the primary looks like it is made up of copper good so now let's check the secondary so the secondary is also made up of copper and the core has an air gap because it's a flyback power supply as you can see so guys this was my today's video so if you like this video then please like subscribe and share with your friends and the link of this smps is in the video description so thanks for watching